Damn, this Mustang is sexy. Might have to cop a new one in real life, not gonna lie. Donnie, when do you drive anything but a Porsche? Just a waste of money. Well, I do like my Porsches, that's true. But like 5% of the time, I will drive something else. Like I drive my Ferrari every once in a while. So the Mustang can be that side piece that I just don't call often. Haha. <laughs> I mean, you do you, Donnie? I don't really give a rat's ass. Whoa, relax there, Joey boy, the PETA toy. Keep it civil. Can't be asked to bully your dumb ass even more today. Cool, whatever. Anyway, you know, with all these side hustles we're planning, we should probably start thinking about offshore bank accounts. Got to keep that presidential punch money safe, right? Oh, absolutely. Cayman Islands, maybe? No better place to stash that ice cream money. And while we're at it, we should start our own offshore casino. Nothing like betting with cash that doesn't exist. Also, if you idiots watching don't know what we are talking about, it means you missed the first part, so go back and watch it, you sacks of shit. Whoa, Donnie. Don't talk to the viewers like that. They are our friends. Also, offshore casinos? Now you're talking. We could even have a presidential high roller suite, $10,000 buy-in, all bets made in Donnie dollars. You lose, you still have to pay up in real money. Now that's a scam. I mean, business venture. Yeah, I like the viewers, and I treat them like they're my pals. That's why I can be rude to them, you dumbass. I'm not rude to random people. Well, unless they got that China virus. And that's genius, Joe, genius. And you know what? We could rig it too. The house always wins, except we'd win every time. I'll get my team on it right away. We'll use the finest gold-plated slot machines. Classy, top-tier stuff. We might have to be careful, though. You know how people get when they lose money, especially fake money. They might start to get wise. Maybe we should throw in a free ice cream cone to keep them happy when they lose. Stupid idea with the ice cream. Most people are not as obsessed with ice cream as you are. But we can do a consolation prize of ice cream when they realize they've just been scammed. I mean, played. And for the really big losers, we could give them a limited edition presidential masterpiece painting. It's like, sorry you lost your life savings. Here's some fine art to soften the blow. We're covering all angles, Donnie. And if people start getting too mad, we can open up our next venture, escape rooms, but not your regular kind. These will be political escape rooms. Lock them in, and the only way out is if they can solve a puzzle based on the national debt. And we could live stream this shit to YouTube, as I'm sure everyone would get a good laugh at these useless people. So get paid from the idiots and get paid from the YouTube ads. Sounds like free money to me. That's brilliant. We'll make the clues so impossible, they'll never get out. We'll have headlines like, can you escape Biden's budget deficit and survive Trump's tax code? Nobody's getting out without paying extra for hints. And the best part is they pay us to lock them in. It's the perfect crime. We could even do a VIP package where they get stuck in the Oval Office and have to figure out how to lower the unemployment rate to escape. Just wait until they find out we've been trying to do that for years. Ha, exactly, Joe. We can even live stream it, make it a national event, charge people to watch others suffer through our policy-based puzzles. People love that kind of stuff. Maybe throw in a surprise cameo of me just to stir things up. Oh, I'm sure they'd love that. And if they manage to escape, we'll offer them a job in our next business venture, becoming personal stunt doubles for public speeches. Let them take the heat when we mess up a speech or trip on the stairs. Stunt doubles, that's genius. I'm tired of taking all the heat for saying what people don't want to hear. We hire these poor saps and boom, they're the ones everyone blames. You trip on the stairs, you send in your double. They'll think it's just a bad day for old Joe. Shut up, I never tripped on the stairs, I shit. I mean, yes, I have anyway. Are you currently a stunt double as I have never heard you talk for this long without a fat stutter? As well as coming up with actual decent ideas, this is not like the Joe Biden I know and hate. Of course, I'm not a stunt double. We haven't even got the business rolling yet. Um, okay, Joe, okay. Anyway, I've had enough of business for today. I will talk about it once I've had a porn star and some golf in my hands for a few hours. But you know, Joe, I've been thinking, if this whole politics thing gets too boring, we should join a rock band. I'd be the lead singer, obviously. Tremendous vocals. Your stomy Daniel addiction's pretty bad. I have to say, also, a rock band? Donnie, you can't sing. You'd sound like a screeching cat trying to swallow a golf ball. I'd be on drums, though. Got that rhythm. Plus, I've got some serious bongo skills. Bongo skills, Joe, we're not starting a beach band. We're talking arena rock. 
I'd be up front, belting out hits. You'd be in the back, trying to remember which drum is which. Drums? Oh, no, no, no. I'd be great on tambourine. Just slamming that thing like it owes me money. Plus, tambourine players get all the attention, right? Tambourine, you're basically asking to be the background guy nobody remembers. You think people are going to be screaming, look at Biden smashing that tambourine. They'll be too busy watching me tear up the stage in a leather jacket. I'd have the best jacket, by the way. Leather jacket? Please, Donnie. You'd look like a retired Elvis impersonator. I'd be the heartthrob of the band. Heck, I'll be crowd surfing, throwing ice cream into the audience. They'll call me Creamy Joe. Oh, yeah? Creamy Joe sounds like the name of a gay porn star who had been gangbanged into oblivion. Meanwhile, they'd call me the Don. I'd have groupies chanting my name before I even step on stage. I'm talking sold out shows in every country, Joe. Even North Korea would want tickets. Shush. We know you're the only one who likes those. Oh, and sure, North Korea. That's where all the great rock bands go to headline. Maybe you can play a private concert for Kim Jong-un and hand out Trump stakes as souvenirs. Don't joke, Joe. I'd have Kim holding up a lighter during the power ballad. Tremendous connection. Speaking of concerts, though, you know where we should perform? The moon. The moon? Donnie, I think you finally lost it. You're not launching Space Force again just to play a guitar solo in zero gravity. Why not? It'd be the concert of the century. We'd perform in spacesuits, have fireworks in orbit. Elon Musk would sponsor the whole thing. I can see the headline now. Trump and Biden rock the universe. I'd hit notes so high, aliens would want an encore. Aliens, you know you're not allowed to say things about those to the public, you idiot. And also, that's a stretch, even for you. They'd probably land just to tell you to keep it down. I can see it now. Little green men knocking on your space door like, excuse me, sir, could you not? Please, Joe. People thought I was joking till you gave them details about how the- Fuck yeah. Easy win your shit, Joe, but I am a monster at this game. Could have finished your sentence, you donut. Shush.